what up, what up, y'all? I just want to uh, chop it up a little bit about, with y'all about uh, Las Vegas Raiders this year, yo. Oh, my God. They done made some decisions, some decisions. So, let's start off. They mess around and I don't want to say sabotage Derek Carr because it just doesn't make sense to, you know, I can't really find factual basis to say that they necessarily sabotage Derek Carr, but I think they didn't necessarily build a game plan around Derek Carr's strengths. They made their game plan and wanted Derek Carr to form um, his abilities and his mm, his play around their system. And it just wasn't a good fit. It was like oil and water. You know what I'm saying? So now you got Derek Carr gone, right? He goes to New Orleans. You get nothing for him. How they, how they fumbled and bumbled that, I don't know. But you get nothing for Derek Carr. He leaves. Okay, so nobody bats an eye at that, though, but okay. Okay, I got you. Nice. So this is after you use Derek Carr to dangle Devontae Adams into coming over here, right? Okay, cool, cool. So Devontae comes, you give him a lot of money. Got you. So you lock him up, make him the king, which is fine. That's what you should do with a player of that caliber. You know what I'm saying? But you also have to look at what motivated him to come here. Now, he's not going to come out and say, like, you know, Derek Carr was 50% of the motivation to come here. You know what I'm saying? He can't say that. Everybody's like, you know, well, he didn't say that in his press card. He didn't say that in his interview. There's certain things he can't say as a professional athlete, bro. It's going to be a bad look for him to come here to, to Las Vegas and say that he wants to be traded. One year in, after he just requested to get traded up out of Green Bay. It looks like diva shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not calling him a diva, but I'm saying for somebody else on the outside looking in, they can say that's diva stuff. Now, Devontae don't want that on, on his resume, so he's like, you know, well, shit, I'm here. Let's make the best of it. So then you go out and you'll get him Jimmy Garoppolo, a quarterback that doesn't really fit his abilities. This quarterback is like, you know, uh, Captain Handoff Jimmy. I'm not going to shit on Jimmy, though. Jimmy does, like, you know, he does play with well within a game plan. You know what I'm saying? He does his job. But he's not that dynamic, that, that dynamic passer down the field. Derek Carr was, I'm not trying to compare the two. I'm not even necessarily I want saying I want Derek Bag and all this and that. You know what I mean? He had a horrible year. I, I get it. I get it. But Derek Carr would throw down the field. Jimmy Garoppolo, like his his MO is not throwing down the field. It's the inner, it's the intermediate at best. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So you get him, oh, you get him, you find out that he may not even play for us. He's got a double fracture in or a Miss Frank tag fracture in his foot. Nice. Okay. So who do we get as a backup? We got Brian Hoyer as a backup. <laughs> then you draft Aiden O'Connell, which I know nothing about, so I'm not even gonna shit on him. I'm not gonna speak on him because I don't really know anything about the dude. You know what I mean? I don't I feel that's unfair to do that. You got you got a Pro Bowl running or uh, all pro running back. All pro, let's explain the difference between all pro and pro bowl. Pro bowl means you could have been like the top five running back, top seven running back in the NFL. And you go to the Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl is the top one. You're the best. I'm sorry. Pro Bowl is top seven or eight. All pro is the best in all the NFL. Josh ba Josh Jacobs was all pro, bro. The best running back in all the NFL. How do you not pay this man his money? Get that man his money. Look at his resume. Every every year that he's been in Las Vegas or with, in Oakland or wherever the fuck, every year he's been with the Raiders, he's been productive. Damn near 1,000 yards every season. And he just got better last year. He just, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. What are we doing out here? You gonna let you can get rid of an all pro running back and probably get damn near nothing to go running back by committee with Zeus White and Brendan Brown, bruh, and Sincere McCormick, which we know nothing about. Like, come on, man. Raiders, get your head out your ass, bruh. For real. Ziegler, I kind of rocks with you a little bit, but McDaniels, you gotta go, homie. 
You got to go, McDaniels, bro. You shouldn't have been here to begin with, man. Mark Davis, I respect what you're doing. You're trying to make a commitment to a coach and stick to it. But what you're doing is like marrying a prostitute from Figueroa Street in Los Angeles, bro. Come on, man. Get it together, bro. Get this coach out of here. Get a real knowledgeable coach in here. You want to know why Kansas City's winning? Want to know why Kansas City's winning? Because they went and got a knowledgeable coach that knows what the fuck he's doing. That's why they winning. Hey, come on, stop searching for the next young John Madden or John Gruden, bro. Go get somebody who knows what they're doing. With the respectable resume that the players have to respect. Come on, man. Get it together, Raiders.